the incomplete border sign. In this chest radiograph, you can see that there is a lesion projected over the left midzone, which has a sharp medial border. And this medial border, as it goes more laterally, becomes indistinct. In other words, it fades as it goes laterally. Over here, you can see increased density, but you can't see where it starts and where it ends. Note also that there's a cavitary lesion projected over the right upper zone. So in this schematic diagram, it demonstrates a sharpness medially and it fades infralaterally and superiorlaterally. Note also that the ribs have gone anteriorly and this makes it an extra pulmonary lesion, but it's also an extra pleural lesion because of the rib destruction. Here is the CT that demonstrates the rib destruction. And you can see from this diagram that the x-ray source is usually six feet from behind the patient, so a PA chest x-ray. And the medial part of the beam hits the interface tangentially, and therefore it looks sharp on the x-ray. When the x-ray beam is virtually perpendicular to the lesion, you just see increased density. And laterally, you see increased density, but without a sharp border. So you only get the sharp margin where the medial x-ray beam hits the interface tangentially. And that's represented in this diagram here. So one represents the medial part of the lesion, which is very sharp. Two represents the centre of the lesion and three, the periphery of the lesion, where you've got increased density, but no sharp margin. And this is the incomplete border sign. And it's a very important sign because what it does, it tells you that it's a likely to be a non-pulmonary lesion. So it's either a pleural lesion or an extra pleural lesion. And if you've got rib destruction, you know it must be an extra pleural lesion. Here you can see it invading the chest wall and the rib. So, just to recap, this chest radiograph shows a medial sharp border. It fades laterally and superiorly. Here's a coexisting cavitary lung lesion. Note also that the rib anteriorly has gone because this has been destroyed by the mass lesion. Another form of the incomplete border sign could exist with a mediastinal mass lesion. This one is an anterior mediastinal mass which is well defined until it gets to the clavicle and then it becomes ill defined. Note the tracheal shift and this is a case of a retrosternal goiter. It also demonstrates the so-called cervicothoracic sign whereby the sharp margin is lost above the clavicle making this uh, an anterior mediastinal mass lesion. 